hello everyone and welcome back to my channel it's great to see you guys again today in this tutorial you're going to learn that how we can add a preset and uh, what is actually preset preset is something that you're going to make your settings inside that preset ready to play anymore with your illustrator I mean that if you just go to the edit here we have different presets available we have this transparency flattener presets we have print presets adobe pdf preset and also perspective grid presets so let's la take a look at the first one which is this transparency flattener presets so i'm going to click at that so here is our presets right here so we have this high resolution we have this medium low for complex art so we have different type of presets available for transparency flattener so this transparency flattener is used for the purpose of printing anything which is uh, transparent transparent and you want to apply the synthetic on that before you want to print that so here if i want to add a new one so i'm going to click on the plus icon so i can export the selected preset here or if you want to import so you can import as well so here i'm going to click on the plus icon so as you can see here i can give it a name so i can set the balance to vector or this uh, rasters or you can set this vectors to 100 percent so this option convert all text to outline and convert all stroke to outline is go going to show up here if i'm going to make this at uh, this uh, raster so as you can see the only option here is going to show me this anti dash allies rasters so i can change the line art and text resolution from here i can set the pixel per inch or ppi or i can set the gradient and mesh resolution as well here for my artwork so i can find the same setting if you remembered from the file and here under document setup so we have here the custom we have the same preset available that you can set that preset and you can use it from this list so if you click on the custom so you can create or you can make your own custom settings here but if you want to use from the preset so you can just click on that drop down menu and from here you can add a new a preset if you want to and if you want to edit any of these like this test for print you can't edit this low resolution or medium resolution or any other presets that is already available by default here so only i can edit this one if you select this test for print so i can click on edit so here i can change settings for this transparency flattener preset options and the next presets here we have this for print so i'm going to click at that so here we have some default that you can edit so here you can click on edit but you cannot delete it so you can delete this one if you want to because this is already created by us so i can click on delete so here i'm going to click on edit so i can edit the settings so this setting is going to be for printing so under brand preset you can see we have this preset for now so you can see all the settings you can uh, have the marks and bleed so this is going to be for print so where you can find that so if you go to this file menu under print so you can find the print and here we have this print preset so from here i can click and uh, if i can select any of uh, the, these uh, preset which is available in this drop down menu so i can select this print preset for logo so if you select that so the settings that is already made for this is going to show up right here even you can see the mark and bleed and more things that is available i can select this my logo print setting or i can go with anything like this logo one 
so any preset you want to select here so it's going to be uh, with the settings that is for this print so you can manage all the print preset from here you can add a new one you can import and you can export i can click on the plus icon so here i'm going to change ignore artboard and here for mark and bleed i'm going to check all printers marks so i'm going to hit ok so here i'm going to just click ok so now if i go to so i just wanted to show you that here you can change it just like this so here i'm going to select this print preset as you can see ignore artboard is checked and also for marks and bleeds here as you can see we have checked all the option for marks and bleed as well so here the third presets is adobe pdf preset if you export your file to a pdf so here under adobe pdf presets you can see you can see all the settings so if you want to add a new so you're going to click on the plus icon so from here i can change the standard i can change some options for this i can change the capability and also under compression you can see we have more option that's available for compression that i can change this automatic to jpeg or zip so here under marks and bleed i can change all the printers marks and for the output here i can select the color conversion and also here i can set the advanced option for fonts as well so here i can change all the setting for pdf when i want to export my document into pdf so i can use this settings right here so i'm going to save this PDF, my pdf final pr so here you can set the number of ppi and uh, under compression for uh, this color bitmap images and we have more things that you can set for uh, this uh, you can add the description and also under standard you can see we have uh, some standard pdf slash x dash 1a which is this 2010 2003 2002 so here i'm going to just hit ok so now we have our preset ready to go so if i want to export this document as a pdf so here i'm going to select that uh, format i think in this uh, export there is not going to be this pdf is not available so i have to click on save us and here i need to select this pdf and click on save so here we have all the presets available so i can click on this drop down menu so i have to select my preset so the only thing that uh, with presets not available with the pdf is the security if you click on the security so you can check this require a password to open the document and you can check this use a password to restrict editing security and permissions settings so this is not available with your preset so now i have my preset i can just click on save to pdf so here we have the fourth one which is perspective create presets so perspective create preset is going to be for all the perspective that you're going to click right here and the shortcut for that is shift plus p for the perspective grid tool so here i have the preset so i can just select this 3d project i can click on edit so here when you click on edit so you can set the name but before i want to change the settings so let me show you here the perspective grid so i'm going to click at that so the shortcut was for that is shift plus p so you can use that with your keyboard so i'm going to just click at that 
so we have our perspective grid so if you want to define the grid so you need to go to the view menu so under view menu under perspective grid we have this define define grid so from here you can select your preset but if you want to add preset from the edit menu so under edit menu we have this perspective create presets so i'm going to click at that so from here i can click on plus icon so i can give it my 30 pr so from here i can set the point so now it's two point i can set that to three point i can set that to one point so let's go with the three points you can change units for this you can change a scale and also you can set the value create line every and you can set the viewing angle and also viewing distance horizon high and also you can set the third vanishing point which is by x and y and also you can change the grid color and opacity so i'm going to change the color something like let's go with the orange for the left grid which is this one i think it's already that color so let's go with this dark blue and uh, with right grid which is uh, this one so i'm going to change that to this green and for horizontal grid which is right here as you can see this is already this color and if i want to change that so here i'm going to click and we're going to change that to magenta and click ok so now we have this preset if you want to apply this for this perspective grid so you need to go to the view under view under perspective grid you have to select the preset so here we have you can save grid as a preset or you can click on define grid and here on the preset on the top so you can select this my 3d pr so i can click ok so uh, now as you can see according to the uh, settings that uh, we just added to the preset so the perspective grid is now changed so this is how you can use all the uh, presets under edit menu uh, you can use presets for the purpose of this transparency flattener print preset adobe pdf and also this perspective grid so hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learn how to use all the presets under edit menu and if you have any question or doubt please let me know in the comment box of this video and if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon if you want to stay tuned about our future videos and uploads so see you guys in the next video